All right, I'm officially in the Christmas spirit now. Not only because today I'm eating Christmas pudding and I love Christmas pudding, but because, yeah, of course this is gonna be a challenge. It might even be the most Christmas pudding ever eaten, but more than that, it's an experiment. An academic study for the good of science to answer a question which has plagued mankind for centuries now. Is it possible to eat so much Christmas pudding you actually get drunk? Anyway, let's cook these things up and get started. Yeah. Can't have Christmas pudding without cream. All right, first things first, I need to breathalyze myself to show that I'm sober. I've got Mrs. Beard on hand today to ensure a controlled environment for this study. So uh, if you please, I'll put these little straws in there. Does it have to count down from like 40 seconds? Is that necessary? Right, if you can see that, so it's 0, 0.00. .00 which means I'm not drunk. Surprise you, that might surprise you. That's reassuring. <laughs> and I'm gonna breathalyze myself between each one of these Christmas puddings. And if at any point this thing reads 0.08, that makes me legally drunk. In this country, at least. So without further ado, this is Baby Food and this, this is for science. Who's good? I think it's gonna be a fun one. If I take the straw out. Just leave it in. Do you think I'm actually gonna get drunk? Yeah, it looks like a lot. What's gonna be drunk? I'll be yeah, I'm a bit of a lightweight, but that should help with the experiment. I'll do a calorie count at the end. We do actually have more downstairs, um, but I thought Linz could just go off and cook them so they're nice and warm as I go through them. That makes more sense, right? Oh, this is a stiff one. What is this? As the finest? It's definitely a it's a boozy one. You can taste the alcohol in it. Cognac? You mean cognac? <laughs> <laughs> cognac, cognac. <laughs> I love it. You know, we talked about um, Christmas pudding on the, on my podcast, the Breaking Bread podcast, where we tried out some some Christmas foods. And it was getting a lot of grief, but I love Christmas pudding. I know it's just fruit and alcohol and nuts, but it's timeless, man. It's one of those things that you, you have it every year. What's up, Adami? Welcome back and a Merry Christmas to you all. Hope you're all enjoying the spirit of the season. And you know, today we're tackling the tough questions. Forget the Large Hadron Collider, forget Dark Matter, forget String Theory. Today we're going to find out if it's possible for one man to eat so much Christmas pudding, he actually fails the breathalyzer test. <laughs> oh, can't waste any. Mmm. That's one Christmas pudding and about. I don't know, 1,200 calories down. They are for people. Yeah, I mean, they don't, they don't look that big, but they are dense. They weigh 400 grams. And uh, what is that? That's like... Nah, that's like 0.9 of a pound. They're almost a pound each, pretty much. Moment of truth. I can't be pissed after one, surely. <gasps> I said pissed. I can't, like, if I'm drunk after one, I'm never going to live it down. I'm still, I don't know, can you see that? Still at zero. All right, put in two. Wash them and use them as hats. <laughs> Maybe for you, you little bean head. I'm probably going a little bit overboard with the, the old brandy sauce here, aren't I? <laughs> it's probably more the alcohol in the brandy sauce than the pudding. Still, I, I mean, I, I never have Christmas pudding without something on it. Usually brandy sauce. Tis the season. Indeed. Yeah, that's the spirit. I feel like maybe I've compromised the test already though, because brandy sauce is not a mandatory component of Christmas pudding. Although lots of people have it on their Christmas pudding, so why not include it? It's only Christmas once a year after all. Two puddings down. You have time, Mrs. Beard. Can you uh, recite the alphabet backwards <laughs> for me, please? Is that a jingle all the way joke? Greatest Christmas film of all time. Is there any point? Or should I just go on to the next one? Do one more. Just do one more and then do it. Save time. Because you've got to change the straws in these things every time, I think. Oh, I'll, I'll take it easy on the brandy sauce for this one. But I should probably mention, because a lot of Americans don't actually know what Christmas pudding is, because pudding in America is pretty much like angel delight here, like a kind of mousse, like a gooey mousse. Pudding here is pretty much just a synonym for dessert, right? But this is a, it's a suet pudding and they make it with, um, fruit and nuts and lots of alcohol 
And uh, yeah, you eat that on Christmas Day. It's so all of the draft the fruit is soaked in alcohol for like weeks and months and it's like yeah, this was matured for like nine months or twelve months or something. The heartburn's gonna be real from this. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. That's kind of a sign that either it's too warm in here or I'm starting to get a little bit jolly. I feel alright though. Well I'm not sweating and the heat is not on, so <laughs> Yeah, it's probably just the heat of the pudding and the sugar, I would imagine. The Christmas jumper probably doesn't help either. I feel now like I get that feeling you know, when somebody comes around saying let's do some shots and you've already had like two or three shots. That's the feeling I'm getting now. Uh, it's intense. It's rich, it's a little bit like chocolate, you know, like it gets, it's overpowering. Um, I'll do another breathalyzer. Yeah. yeah. So that's about two and uh, two and a half pounds of pudding. Right, we need to change the uh, the thing here because apparently they get um, contaminated. We've got some more up here. My hands are a little bit sticky though, darling. So would you mind opening it? <laughs> I can't even find the hole. <laughs> <laughs> that probably means I am pissed. Oh, I got it! I got it in. I squeezed it in. Still, I don't know if can you actually see it on the screen. I'm gonna dump this one out. Do you want to go make two, two or three more? <laughs> oh, I've got sweat on now. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm gonna go make them. I think we're gonna have to bash the brandy sauce. Yeah, not because I'm an alcoholic or anything. Don't get the wrong impression. It's just really dry. It's quite difficult to eat at this point without any liquid. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll throw some more cream on there. It can't hurt. It's quite hard doing this without liquid. But I thought. I can't really drink a glass of water because people might start saying it's, you know, neat vodka or something, like I'm compromising the test. <laughs> I couldn't drink neat vodka if I tried that stuff, it's awful. A little bit more brandy sauce. One pudding, come in hot. Are you going back for another one? Yeah, it's just a... Uh... Yeah, I got my very own little Christmas elf on hand to cook these up. You can't eat them cold, actually. Um, I, I would just recommend you don't. They taste way better when you microwave them. I'm gonna try and figure out how many uh, how many calories I've gone through. <coughs> Oop, pardon me. Uh, pudding coming in hot. Are you drunk yet? <laughs> I'm just trying to work out. I've gone through 5,184 calories of Christmas pudding, and that's not even counting the cream. Right, here we go. So 100, how many is this? This is 500 grams, I've gone through about half of it. That's 5,889 5, calories. In that, just that? In all that I've eaten so far, yeah. Get a little more of this brandy out. <laughs> I am starting to feel a little bit woozy now, but I'm not sure if it's just because of the sheer, you know, sugar calories. They're a little bit stingy with the nuts on these. I, I, I like a, <laughs> I like a nut or two in my, uh, my Christmas pudding. This is a fifth one. Hot that one? It was hot. Better hot or better cool? No, this is too hot. Yeah. Let the steam out. Maybe a little bit more brandy sauce. What a ridiculous idea for a video. To be fair, this is, this will be getting on like over four pounds of Christmas pudding. I mean, four pounds of food is not impressive, but four pounds of Christmas pudding, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, forget control conditions. We're going all in now. And I should say, um, don't take this as some kind of benchmark for your own Christmas Day eating proclivities. The uh, the breathalyzer thingy was like 30 quid from Amazon. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure how accurate it is. It's not like police approved or anything. There's <sighs> some <sighs> <sighs> pudding in your eye. <laughs> Nothing will make sure you're paying attention like a little bit of pudding in the eye. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. First time. It's got kind of an LA beast vibe to it, this video. 
don't try this at home by the way. I'm, I'm just gonna I mean you shouldn't try any of the stuff I do at home, but especially this. <laughs> do you have to like if you're a kid, can you go into a supermarket and buy Christmas pudding? You can't. Um that and the brand I didn't know that. I used to eat Christmas pudding when I was a kid all the time. Not that my mum's a bad parent or anything. <laughs> Hi mum. Hey! Way over? 1.2, was that 1.24? 1.24. Don't eat and drive. Don't, well, don't eat Christmas pudding and drive. Yeah, it's educational as well as fun. Anyway, that was a that was a fun video, a little bit different to what we would normally do, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Actually, originally I mentioned this on the the podcast, and um, I said I was thinking about doing it, and then a, a bunch of people um, messaged me and said, "Yeah, we'd love for you to do it." I was inundated with requests, inundated. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a merry Christmas and a happy new year, and uh, thanks for all the support you give me this year, and thanks for downloading the uh, the Christmas song if you haven't. Um, then, you know, still time. So last time I'll mention it, I promise. Uh, but the links are down below in the pinned comment and the description. I'm taking a week off now. Um, so there'll be no video on Sunday, no video on Thursday, but I will be back uh, the following Sunday and uh, plenty of videos to come next year. So I hope you'll stick with me. Thanks for all your support this year. Have I said that already? I'm just taking off uh, a week. I promised I would take a week off to spend with the family around uh, the festive season. So I hope you can give me a little bit of a break, but I will be back with Avengers next year. Have a good one. For now, beard out. Do you want to say Merry Christmas, Mrs. Beard? Merry Christmas! And a Happy New Year. That sounded really facetious. It didn't sound genuine at all. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a Happy New Year. 15 minutes later, we're going to find out if that was a scientific anomaly or if I am still um, over the drink drive limit. I'm 1.12 now. I'm going down slow but sure. Got a car and a little stop sign. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe I could. I might wrap this up and give it to somebody for Christmas. My sister, she's a booze hound. Cognac was definitely one of them. Cognac? You mean cognac? <laughs> <laughs>